Welcome to your Flame Fundamentals training. Once you've assembled your shots in the sequence, there is always the requirement to tighten up the edit. By that, I mean adjusting the timings of the segments to get the right flow and pace for your production. So in this video, we cover the trimming tools and the various ways you can trim in the sequence. As you edit and move segments around the sequence, typically you would be in SELECT mode. This is not mandatory, but it does prevent unnecessary trimming, slipping or sliding as you move segments around the sequence. So you have dedicated modes to enable trimming, slipping and sliding. Since this video is all about trimming, you can click the pull down menu and choose the trim mode. Now the trim editorial mode can do everything that the select mode can do, but it also includes trimming. This starts with placing the cursor around the transition to get the trim cursors. The first two cursors allow you to trim either the outgoing tail or incoming head of each segment. If you want to trim both the outgoing and incoming segments, you place the cursor between the segments to get the third cursor. When you click and drag the transition, you're basically changing the start time between the two segments. The number on the outgoing tail and incoming head of the segments tell you how many extra source frames you have left to do the trim. These are commonly referred to as the frame handles. Now one other thing you should have noticed is that your positioner does not appear to do much during the trim. One reason is that you could be trimming to the positioner's frame in the sequence. If you want the positioner to follow along with the trimming, click the Timeline Options pull down menu and choose Focus on Trim. The next time you trim the edit, you will see the start frame of the incoming segment. When trimming a transition, sometimes it might only be one or two frames. Now you could gesturally adjust the cut with the cursor, but I think a faster way is to use a keyboard shortcut. Ensure the cut is selected, either explicitly or indirectly with the positioner, and use the comma or full stop keystrokes to adjust the transition by one frame in either direction. If you want to trim the transition by any number of frames, you need to use the Trim Calculator. Hold CONTROL OPTION and click once on the cut. Type either PLUS or MINUS to choose the direction, followed by the number of frames. When you press ENTER, the transition will trim by that number of frames. Now if you use this frame offset often, it's quite easy to assign this to keyboard shortcuts. Call up the Trim Calculator again by clicking on the cut and enter in the frame number you'd like to use for trimming. Now instead of pressing ENTER, press either SHIFT COMMA or SHIFT FULL STOP to trim by that amount of frames in either direction. Any time you use those shortcuts again, Flame will trim the transition by the chosen number. You can also change the number of frames at any time by repeating the previous steps. So to clarify, SHIFT COMMA or SHIFT FULL STOP to trim by a custom number of frames, and COMMA or FULL STOP to trim by one frame at a time. The last super fast way of trimming in the sequence is trimming to the positioner. For example, you've placed the positioner away from the transition and you'd like the cut to occur from the positioner's frame. One way is to ensure that snap is on and drag the cut to snap to the positioner. Provided you have enough head and tail frames in both segments, this is a very quick and easy gestural trim but it's even faster with a keyboard shortcut. Using the same scenario where the cut is selected, just press SHIFT-P. The transition will shift to the positioner 
regardless of snap being on or off. Please move on to the next video and don't forget to like and subscribe to the Flame Learning channel. Thanks for watching. Oh, 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 oh,